Howdy, howdy guys, my name is Quillo and welcome to a brand new tutorial. So in today's episode, I'm doing the 1440p 60fps recording settings for OBS. Now I do really think these settings are really amazing. I've been using them for quite some time right now. I've gone through a lot of settings, but these ones just sit really well with me. So I hope they'll sit as well with you as they do with me. So let's go and let's get into it. So guys, if you don't have OBS yet, here is how you can download it. Type in OBS into Google. Google. From that on, you will go down here to downloads right underneath OBS Studios. Click on downloads. From downloads, it will bring you to this side. Now you can pick whether you have Windows, iOS or Linux. I do have Windows, so I pressed on Windows and down you go to download installer. Now when you download the installer, I already have OBS, I'm not going to go through that, but it's really simple, OBS explains a lot, you can update it, you can do all kinds of things and it will, it will set up really nicely for you to have an app that you just click on and off you have OBS. So when you get to this point of opening OBS, your will look quite different. Now we will go straight into the settings and after I will speak about the overlay that I have, whether it be the sources, the scenes, how I put on the camera, how I got the recording of my monitor, and all these stats, audio mixers, and controls. So let's head on to settings. So when you get to settings, uh, first you have general. Now I leave this all on default. First, we will move to video. Now in video, you have base canvas resolution. Here you will pick the resolution of your monitor. Also put the resolution of your monitor onto output scale resolution. And in the common FPS value, put down 60. From video, we will head to advance. In advance, don't forget to go to general, process priority. And if you have a strong enough computer, and you want OBS to run as smoothly as possible, put it on a high priority and always press apply. From advanced, we are going to go to audio. So in audio, you have general. Now here we have sample arrays. You have a lot to pick from, but my headphones are 48 kilohertz. So I'll keep that on 48. Channel stereo, I'll keep that on default. Down we go to global audio devices. On desktop audio, you will pick your speakers. What do you have? Are you using speakers? Are you using headphones? Click on what you are using so OBS can find it way easily. You can keep it on default if you have only one, but I always do recommend clicking on what you have. With mic auxiliary audio, you put your microphone in here. I have my broadcast stream mix, which is my Shure microphone. But whatever you have, whether it is headphones, microphone, or you have a built microphone or a even webcam microphone like I have here, microphone Logi 4K streaming edition. You pick whatever you have and then click on apply. Now we're going to the most important part of this video, which is output. In output, you have streaming, recording, audio, replay, buffer, which are all these on the top. We're going to go to recording. Now for you to have all these settings, you have to go up here and click on advanced. Now for the type, I will keep that on standard recording settings. Now recording path is where the recording will be uh, downloaded or where it's being recorded into which file. I usually put it somewhere onto my desktop into a rec or recording uh, folder and I'll name the folder on whatever it, the video is. Now from recording format, I'll pick mp4. Video encoder is on NVIDIA NVIC H.264. It's the best thing you can have. It will use your computer really efficiently for really nice and crispy visuals and microphone quality and all these kind of things. So I do really recommend that if your computer can keep up with it. If it doesn't, if you have a really good processor, just click on H.264. We'll have that option there or NVIDIA NVEC only, which is only your graphics card. Now I leave audio encoder to default. The audio tracks, I have it set up where when I record, it will make two audio tracks, which it will send afterwards to my editing software. It makes it much easier where I can lower my voice and boost the gameplay uh, volume or the opposite way around. If you'd like to know more about that, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make an extra video for that. 
on rescale output i'm not using it but if you decide to use it to go with a lower resolution or anything like that you'll set it up over here custom mixer settings i have none automatic file splitting i'll keep that to def default now off we go to encoder settings this is the most important if you want all whatever you do just copy this and you'll be good to go if you're not i'll explain everything on how you can set it up so it runs perfectly with your computer and smoothly without lag now for the rate of control i'll click on vbr now that's variable bit rate it's really amazing because when you're doing videos like this where i'm only talking you can set the low margin of the bit rate on what to be if you're doing for say fps gaming or if you're doing any uh high speed movement gaming you can set the max bit rate that will boost it to the max bit rate that is available so you always have that crispy look really nice visual and top-notch quality so on bitrate i have 70,000, and on max bitrate i have a hundred thousand you can play around with those i've seen a lot of channels saying around 50 for say on bitrate put it on 30 and max bitrate 60 but i really like it this way for my specs i'll leave it down in the comments below so you can kind of compare on what i have to what you have and kind of adapt these settings to your computer or if you have the same specs like my computer is you can just put it into the settings and you'll be good to go so for keyframe interval i set that to two and max b frames to two as well now i'll explain why so with video editing softwares there's something wrong if you leave it on zero or max b frame on one or zero if you put it on two that's kind of the sweet spot on editing your preview won't lag you won't have any issues on editing the footage that you got from obs it's just really handy to put it on to if it doesn't work you can put it on zero but you play around with it how you like it and if it works for you that's great now with the preset there's a lot of presets here i have my one set to p7 slowest but best quality this will take a lot of processing power but it will offer you with the best top-notch quality there is and it will look much much nicer but you can also play around with it you can put it on p5 slow good quality which is also quite nice there's really small difference between p5 and p7 i've noticed but if you see a difference pick whatever you would like now on tuning i set that to high quality multi-pass mode i set it to two pass full resolution for the best results profile i'll set that on high look ahead i didn't check that if you want to know more about it you can read it down here so with psycho visual tuning i have it checked so when you hover over word you can have the description of what it actually does if you want to read that and click it or not it is your decision but i have it clicked for the best experience there is with gpus i have it set to zero now if you have 15 gpus and you want to set it on number seven you put number seven in here but i have only one gpu which is my 3080 ti which runs perfectly fine with games and recording so i'll set that to zero and like i said before max b frames are set to two so after you have this done there's one more thing you need to do in the settings which is audio in audio you have uh six tracks now with these tracks you click on audio bitrate and you put it on 320 which is the best audio result you can get and set it on for all of these after you're done with everything click apply and okay that will bring you back to your obs main screen now to get it set up just the way i have it here you go to sources you'll probably have them down here but you can always grab it and move it around you can put it wherever you want so just grab it by the top where it says for say scenes and you can drag it around this is the way i like my layout it's really nice i really do like it now on sources what you will do here you will put your camera and your monitor that you are recording that is easily done by clicking right mouse button click on add and with that you go to display capture which is your monitor and video capture device which is your camera over here on scenes you can rename your scenes you can put different colors on them whatever you like so for scenes uh the easiest way i can explain it to you is just different types of presets you have um 
for say I on this one in game only I don't have my camera it's just easy to do so you can hotkey your presets for say you can put this to f1 f2 f3 and every time uh, when you press these uh, keys you can just easily switch in between them if you want to have a moment of for say talking only or you want to have gameplay or you have a cutscene in a game or something like that you just click game only and that is a really simple I will click on game because that's my main one where I can explain all these things and you can see me <laughs> so with all these once again with the scenes if I click on this my camera disappeared just to be sure so you understand why it all disappeared and how to add them on always click right mouse button click add and here you have all the things you can add in here so this is the way I have my overlay set up I have my controls on the bottom right my audio mixer on right beside it here you may have more audio Audios. If you want to, for say, hide an audio, a track, or anything like that, click on the four or three buttons over here and click on hide or if you hide it by mistake somehow click on unhide all and it will show up a lot of audios here I'm using my mic over here and my desktop audio I don't have anything playing in the background so only when I speak you can see the audio moving you can also change with this the sensitivity or the volume of the audio that's going through I have my one set to 100 aka 0, 0.0 dB so that's the way I have it so the last thing I have on here is that I find this to be really really important for me to have a good view on how the recording is going how the stream is going anything really I'll explain really easily here CPU usage this is how much it's using your CPU my one is at around 2.8% 3% that's extremely low really well running uh, on my previous CPU which was uh, 1600x from AMD I had around 10 to 11 it's not bad but for say if I per turned on a game OBS could decide uh, I don't have the power for it or the game needs more power so this will start going all nuts up and down and stuff like that and it's pretty much the same story with all these settings around so here you have this space available this is how much space you can use while you're recording now this will calculate by itself when you select the folder where your recording is gonna go to especially on if you have different hard drives or anything like that it's really nice to see like I can do 588 gigs of recording without a problem and that's gonna take me as it says here disk full in approximate 69 hours now if I did a 69 hour OBS tutorial I'll probably explode so I, I hope I won't be doing that anytime soon <laughs> on memory usage I leave that normal uh, I don't really have any issues with that whatsoever FPS is quite important as well so, so if you're putting it on a 4k ultra settings and all these things your fps could be fluctuating quite a lot so if you see that try to lower your game down a small bit because as i say my priority is for my viewers to see me and for me to look the best aka the video to look the best the gameplay to look the best even when i'm recording without the camera i really want the gameplay to be top-notch quality that's the way i like to run it even though the quality of the game is a bit lower and it's not on 4k ultra or whatever right here you have the average time to render frame 0 0.8 millisecond if it's in red we have a problem but it's not and I hope it won't be if you do have it in red let me know down in the description below and I can try to help you out with that with a frames missed due to rendering lag and skipped frames due to encoding lag this is really important this is when your computer doesn't handle the settings that you have set on it you need to lower your bit rates you need to play around with your settings to have this really really stable like I have I have 86,000 frames popped in through it with 0.0% of frames render lag or anything like that or missed frames so that's really really good if you want to reset it for say you started recording but for first 30 seconds you've been just taking it to drink or anything like that click on reset and from reset it will just start going from the beginning so you can see if it's running well both the numbers are in sync they're running well there's no skipped frames there's nothing so it's really nice really good if you have any problems with those two things I had a lot of problems with those but after I upgraded my computer happy days no issues whatsoever but if you have any problems with those just let me know and we can deal with it also 
to get this up status. Click anywhere in between your widgets that are open here and you can add scenes, controls, scene transition or whatever you want. Just click on stats. When it's checked like this, it means you have it and you can grab it and move it around, play around with it where you want it, how you want it. Like it's really easy and simple. So guys, this is it. It was really easy and simple to set up these settings. Hope they work really well for you. If they don't, like I said, write it down in the comments below and I'll try to help you optimize for your specific computer. If you want to know my computer, it's down in the description below. If you have any questions about really anything or you want me to make a video on any other topics regards OBS or any anything you have in mind, just let me know down in the comments below and we can deal with it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like. So if you did find these settings really useful, don't forget to subscribe. And if you know somebody or you are really happy with this video, click on the share button so many other people can find this video and enjoy these settings as well. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, see you in the next one. And as always, bye-bye.